After the upper triangular form of partial pivoting, this video is an example of how to solve the linear equations using lower triangular form. Welcome to Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. Using the same example from the previous video, whereby we used upper triangular form to show the procedure of partial pivoting, we would showcase how the lower triangular matrix form is also generated. Again, with the system of linear equations given in the problem, the first step is to have them converted into an augmented matrix. Then instead of element 1, 1, element 3, 3 is considered as pivot element making row 3 as the pivot row. To make the pivot element simpler, divide the whole row 3 by 3, reducing the values. The flow of eliminating elements moves upwards, starting from the third column. This time, we target element A to 2. By using row 3, we write row 2 minus row 3 as the new row 2. So for A to 1, we get negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. For element 2, 2, positive 3 minus 3 makes the new element 0. Then element 2, 3 gives 2 minus 2, which is 0. Then a constant is updated as 2 minus negative 2, and that is 4. Elimination of other elements in the third column moves to the first row by taking row 1 minus twice of row 3 for the new row 1. Starting with A11, we have 1 minus twice of 1 giving negative 1. Element 12 gives 3 minus twice of 3 resulting to negative 3. Then A13 has 4 minus twice of 2 making the new element 0. Then the constant is 4 minus twice of negative 2 to give 8. The next step is to move to the second column and make element 1, 2, 0. But then, if we check on the current row 2, it has the second column element 0 out already. So we just interchange rows 1 and 2. So by checking on the outcome, all non-zero elements appear below the main diagonal, and hence, we attained a lower triangular form of the matrix. Now, we use forward substitution to solve for the variables at this point. The first row can be translated as negative 2x plus 0y plus 0z is equal to 4. So by dividing both sides by negative 2, we get the value of x as negative 2. Next is taking row 2 as negative x minus 3y plus 0z, which is 8. By plugging the value of x, which we just determined, we get negative of negative 2 minus 3y is equal to 8. Simplify signs to arrive at 2 minus 3y as 8. Then, transposing constants, we have negative 3y is equal to 6. From here on, we can divide both sides by negative 3 to arrive at y as equal to negative 2. Then for the last row, we can translate this as x plus 3 of y plus 2z equal to negative 2. Substitute values of x and y to have negative 2 plus 3 of negative 2 plus 2z as negative 2. Simplifying the constants, we have negative 8 plus twice of z as negative 2, then transposing to get 2z as 6. Dividing everything by 2, we get z as 3. These are the exact values we determined working with the lower triangular form matrix. 